In this tutorial, we're going to discuss controlling your privacy and sharing your pages. So we're going to start from our main dashboard and we're going to go under share network and then click on the lock icon that says control your privacy. Once you click on that, it will bring up a list of all of your current pages as well as your profile page. If all of your pages are part of a collection, which is covered in another video, then they will all be grouped into one. So showing you how to share your page, we'll show you an example on the profile page, go across to the key icon, hover over top and it'll say edit access, we'll click that. Now it's going to bring up this new page and it's going to give you a whole bunch of options of who you want to share your page with. So there's different settings you can use. We can click public to make it completely public to anyone in the world. If we want to make it less public, we can make it so only logged in users that have Folio accounts can view your page. We can do it so only friends can view your page, similar to Facebook, as well as groups that you're a part of, such as the Faculty of Education or whatever faculty you may be a part of. A cool thing about this sharing aspect is you can set a time frame, a specific time frame, for how long you want to share a page or all of your pages with a certain audience or individual. So you do that by clicking on, we have logged in users, and if I want to make it accessible, let's say from January 20th until January 22nd, so a two day frame, click on that, and then hit save. And now that will be accessible for that two day range to logged in users to view my page. If I want to change that, just go back to edit access. I can add public. I can add several of these at a time. And again, hit save. When you go back to your main page, it'll show you who is accessible to your pages under access list. Uh, another interesting feature about this is you can add a secret URL. So what you can do is click secret URL and add. And then this is going to generate a unique website address that you can give to someone so that they can view your page and it stays private between you and that person. And that's it for sharing and privacy settings.